Hi everybody, my name is Linda and I'm a friend of Hope's and she's asked me to make a quick video to explain how quick and easy it is to make a review on Amazon.com and you may be wondering why do we need to make reviews on Amazon.com and that is an excellent question. First of all, it just takes a few minutes but second, it is very valuable to authors. If you have a lot of authors that are your favorites, books that you've enjoyed reading, well the reviews on Amazon really help keep those books on, as an authority on the Amazon site. That means that they'll show them more frequently during searches where it'll say, say other people bought this or sometimes they'll have a little pop-up about different books to suggest to their readers and a lot of that goes with along with how many reviews that a book has and there are a lot of other reasons why reviews are valuable to authors it can help get the word out in other ways about your book but it's just really something that doesn't take but a few minutes and it really 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 is beneficial to your author friends so I'm just gonna go through this really quickly and show you how simple it is to do a review and hopefully you'll just take that few minutes when you put one book down that you're, you've just enjoyed before you pick up that other book to read the next book on your to be read list just take five minutes go over to amazon.com and write a review for your author friends so if you don't have an account you can go to amazon.com and it says right here hello sign in so if you have an account already you can click sign in if you aren't already signed in on your browser and if you don't have an account you can click right here where it says new customer start here and it, it just takes a few minutes to make an account I already have an account and I'm logged in on this browser now mine says Amazon business because I have a business account but don't it's the same thing for making a business account as it is for making a you know a review is the same regardless of what type of account that you have so I don't want you to see that and think oh it's going to be different so what I want to do first is type in the name of the author that I want to write a review for or the name of the book so I'm I just finished recently um, Hope's book Irish Encounter so I'm going to type that in um, and there it's going to pop up so first of all I'm going to find the book okay I'm going to click on this title and this is the one and right here it says that I purchased this title you don't have to purchase the book to do a review on amazon.com but if you do purchase the book then your review will say verified purchase by it and I think that gives it, see right here it says verified purchase by this particular person and most of these have purchased the book and those usually get a little more weight in the they call it an algorithm don't even really worry about that word but it is something that does help authors so the next step that you want to do if you're at the top of the page you can just click right here to the customer reviews and it'll drop you straight down to where you can write a review so we're going to go ahead and click it says share your thoughts with other customers so we're going to write a customer review right here and I really enjoyed this book I'm going to give this book five stars so now you just click the number of stars that you want to give whatever book that you're reviewing and then you just t click right here in this box and it says write your review here and I'm just gonna put um, this was a whoops see so you, you can correct yourself if you make a mistake Um, set in a beautiful um, you don't really have to make it very long it just make it just you know very simple and um, let's just put another thing I look forward to reading more books by So very simple. See, this is only two sentences. If you well, one's a compound sentence. Okay. So I just put this is a great story set in a beautiful location. You can put more if you want to, but really you don't have to put that much. So it says what was the most important thing for readers to know. So if this is the headline, and that's going to be shown in bold right after where your stars are, and I'll show you that in just a minute. Um, So 
So right there, I felt like I really want to go visit Galway, Ireland. And that was one of the things that I felt the most. So it says, what's the most important to you? So I'm going to click Submit. Now it says, thanks for your review. And they will process the review. All their reviews are reviewed. Okay, the reviews are reviewed. They're going to be uh, scanned by a person to make sure that that there's nothing inappropriate or that maybe you're not a close relative for one thing I, I'm also an author my daughter tried to submit a review for one of my books but because she used to live here because she was my she's my daughter Amazon wouldn't let her do that because we shared in our history uh, the same mailing address so Amazon is very picky um, to make sure that the reviews that they receive for their books for their readers to look at are valid and that they're not biased so my own daughter they thought that she might be a biased reviewer and therefore they declined her review and that's just to be fair I mean she is my daughter so I'm I'm just saying that it can happen if you maybe have some close relationship with an author like I said, the sharing the same address in the past or something like that, your review may or may not be published by Amazon. Now what will happen with this review is I will get an email from Amazon probably within the next 24 hours and they will let me know that my review has been posted and that I can go look at it live on Amazon. So let's just go back to where I was going to show you where the, the headline shows up and there's hope again and I will show you what I was talking about with that bold thing it said the very most important thing um, so when you go to these reviews right here it says perfect love that's loved it I found another author to love so that's where the headline is another thing that you can do at Amazon if you're here really quickly you can just go through and read some of these reviews and if you find this review helpful then you can click yes and so this person right here said I love the book I had a terrible time putting it down it was a wonderful story of second chances and pure love guided by prayer and a constant trust in God so I think that is a nice review of this book and I will just put helpful so it and if you find a review that is abusive or you think isn't appropriate you can click report abuse and then you'll follow the steps on Amazon so basically that is how easy it is to write a review it's taken me a lot longer just to explain to this than it is to um, to show you how to do it if you are not following hope on on amazon.com just click the follow button right underneath her picture and then that way whenever she has anything new that's released you'll get an email from Amazon and you'll be able to um, see what else she's written they also right over here if you haven't bought this book yet Irish Encounter it's a great book you can click buy for others if you want to give it as a gift or if you want to buy it for yourself you click buy for yourself and then you can um, either do it like I've got Kindle Unlimited but I actually paid for the book she had a big sale back in, in December and I got it um, on their special her publisher had a special but anyway then you can start reading it now if you already bought it so it's basically telling me hey you've already bought this so you don't need to do it again that's really all I need to tell you and again thank you for listening to this video I hope you found it helpful and I encourage you to go and any books that you've read that you really enjoyed take that five minutes and go over to amazon.com and get a review for your authors and thank you so much for watching this video. Have a blessed day.